Good day and welcome to Mastering Dropbox. This tutorial is a follow-up tutorial to the previous one where I showed you how to back up your QuickBooks uh, accounting or your business information in Dropbox, which provides an automatic off-site storage of all your accounting files. In this video, I'm just going to show you how to restore that backup that you've saved in Dropbox. Very simple process to do, and I'll go ahead and show you now. So, once you're in QuickBooks, and this is going to be similar for any accounting software that you own. I used to use Simply Accounting in the past, and and Simply Accounting and QuickBooks, both of them have the same type of option. The menu may look a bit different, the options will be a bit different, but ultimately it's just the same process. So in QuickBooks, on the version that I have here, um, as I mentioned in the previous video, I don't have QuickBooks installed on this computer I'm doing the tutorial on, so I went ahead and created some uh, screenshots uh, for this, and I'm just going to go through them with you now. So it should be very simple to follow, and hopefully you don't have run into any problems. So once you have QuickBooks loaded, uh, as before, we went ahead and clicked File and Create Backup to back up our company information. So now we want to restore it if we had a loss of data or whatever the case may be. So we go ahead and click on File and then click on Open or Restore Company. And go ahead and click Next. For this option here, you want to restore a backup copy because you have a backup stored on your Dropbox folder. Don't don't uh, open the company file because you want to keep your actual company stored on your hard drive, but just use Dropbox as your backup source. So go ahead and click on Restore Open Backup Copy and then click Next. You want to say where you have it, uh, where it's stored to. Although it is technically an online backup, the file itself is stored locally. So you go ahead and uh, choose Local Backup and choose Next. Now it's going to ask you where it is. So if you set up yours like you like I have mine set up, then the location is going to be. Uh, uh, whatever, wherever your Dropbox is located. So on this computer here, when I done this example, my Dropbox is stored on my C drive. So if this was look, I would go into C drive and then users and then back up. Uh, sorry, let me rephrase that. It was C drive, users, my name, Dropbox, uh, my documents, QuickBooks backup, because that's where I have it stored. If you have your Dropbox stored on a different drive or a different folder, you would go wherever you have it stored to. So if you don't know where that is, then uh, just look at some other videos that I've showed you to, to get in into your Dropbox uh, folder and it will show you where it is. But you should know where your Dropbox folder is. So go ahead and navigate to your Dropbox folder. Go into your folder that you've designated for QuickBooks Backup, which I've called mine QuickBooks Backups, and then select the file that's been backed up that you want to restore. So in this case, it, mine is under QuickBooks Backup, and my uh, data I'm restoring is called Sample Product Based Business. So I went ahead and select that and clicked Open. As I mentioned before, for this tutorial, I just created a one of the sample companies that QuickBooks allow you to set up to get the, the accounting, uh, everything set up to what for that layout. So it's not important. Just just pick, find your folder and pick your company and then pick open. And now it says, where do you want to restore the file? In the next window, you will choose the location where you want to restore the files. As the files restore, it is converted to a company with the extension QBW. Now, uh, let me read the important thing as well. Important, if you don't want to overwrite your existing file, rename the file in the next window. For example, you may add a date, version, or number to the information. So um, all that's say in there is very basic computer uh, steps anyway. Basically, it's saying, where do you want to restore the file? Now, you're obviously going to want to restore the file in the default location where QuickBuck QuickBooks saves the file, so that's probably going to be under like My Documents and QuickBooks type of thing. So wherever you normally have your company stored to, go ahead and restore it back to that section. If you, by default, you normally want to re to override whatever you have there, because you don't want two copies of your company accounting uh, to 
on the same computer because it might end up getting confused. If you open up the wrong company and save some transactions, and then the next time you open up the, the other one and save some transactions, you're gonna have you're gonna have mismatch of data and nothing's gonna be accurate. So you ideally you're just gonna want one copy of your file and then a backup copy of your file to keep your data safe. But the file, the part that you're working on, should only be one copy. However, if there's some reason that you want to have a second copy of your current data file, then all you have to do on the next screen is to just give it a different name. So they suggest putting a date there or putting V2 for version 2 there, whatever the case may be. But this is totally up to you on what you want to call it. So on the next screen now, it's asking you where saved company fall as, and this is gonna this is asking you where you want it to go. So if, uh, for example, it's under My Documents, QuickBooks 2011, then you choose that or whatever version it is, and then it's going to automatically give it a fall name, which is gonna be should be the exact same fall name that was backed up originally. However, if you want to rename it, you can go ahead and change the name here, put in version 2, or give it a completely different name. Just remember, don't have two active files for your business at the same time, unless you know that, unless you have a reason to do this, and you, and you are aware that you have two files that you could be accessing and putting information in at different times. So, just... I just want to give that warning there because I, I wouldn't want to see someone restore their company and then start in a transaction and realize a month later that they've entered the transactions in the wrong company or entered it into the wrong file or entered it uh, one day in one file and the next day in the next and then things are, are getting messed up. So don't want to, uh, I want to make sure that at least you are fully aware of what you're doing here at this point. So once you have your file name chosen, or if you just leave it as the name that's going to be selected, click save. If you don't rename it, then you're going to be prompted to uh, that the file already exists. So it's going to say sample product business or whatever your business name is uh, already exists. Do you want to replace it? So you're obviously going to want to say yes to this. So you go ahead and click yes. And then it's going to, it's going to caution you. So it's saying caution. You are about to permanently delete this data file, are you sure? Now, this might scare some people. What this actually means, and is not uh, not that scary, is you already have your company file on your computer. Now, you're restoring a backup, so you want to override the file that's on that computer and, and restore it with a backup version. You obviously have a reason for doing this. So you go ahead and click, type in yes in the box and click OK. And that will override the file that's on the computer with your backup file. So that means that you are permanently deleting the file that's on your computer. So if this is not what you want, then don't continue. You're obviously not in the right spot. But if you are restoring your backup company, then in most cases, that's exactly what you want to do. You want to restore and override your backup. So you want your backup to now be the current file that you're working on. So anything that's in this file that's currently on your hard drive, you're going to want that deleted and overridden with this new file that you just retrieved from backup. So you go ahead and click yes, uh, type in yes and click OK, and it will restore your previous version and replace it with or override your current version with the previous one that you do. Are restoring from backup and then that's it it'll say your data has been restored successfully you go ahead and click OK and that's it that's how you restore a backup in QuickBooks uh, using Dropbox as your backup storage location so I hope uh, between these two videos uh, that you found it very useful if you have any questions go ahead and comment below I'll certainly answer whatever I can and don't forget to subscribe I am releasing lots of videos if you are having trouble with your existing software or with a newer version of QuickBooks, just let me know and I'll see if I can find information on how to do that for you or how or I might be able to obtain a copy of that uh, accounting software to show you how to do it. So just let me know and I'll certainly see what I can do to help. Have a great day.